What's up guys, JFM here back with another video. Today we're going to be doing some more Rust. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to call this episode 1, episode 2, or like season 2, episode 1. I don't know. All I know is this is a brand new world, brand new map. I don't have Ace with me now, which is saddening, but I think it's it's not going to be too difficult without him. Um, this isn't a very populated server, but it is what it is. And then also something that... Uh, you know, as this is, I'm in a completely different location. I think this location is really, really cool looking, and I can't wait to get started here. It's just nice here. I'll just build a house right up here. It's just, just going to be great. So I basically did a ton of stuff off camera to kind of, you know, bring bring us back to where we were before I got raided. The reason I'm over here on this new world is because I was raided completely. I lost all my stuff, and uh, really, that's basically it. We we basically got crushed, is what happened. Oh, the sun's about to go down as well. So perfect. Perfect. All right, basically what I want to do now is I got all my wood out here that I've collected, and I want to just start building a house straight off the bat before I get killed again because that's no fun. Um, but one cool thing is I do have this um, sleeping bag, and I got that off camera just, just for safety. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I don't have the bow anymore, so I'll have to re remake a ton of the stuff that I had before. But other than that, that's really it. Another cool thing, this server has a few mods on it. A mod, uh, one of them is half craft. So if you take a look, I can now craft things super, super fast. So if we try to craft some wood planks, let's just say I want to craft one. There we go. If I want to craft five, there we go. They're already crafted. It's called half craft, but I think it's just like supposed to be instant craft or something. It doesn't take up time. Is what it, it was. It's super cool. It's super cool. So now I can, I guess, make the episodes more interesting interesting i know it's kind of it's kind of not how the game was mo you know meant to be played but um for making for making like videos this will be so easy this will be this will make it so much this will make it so much faster it's just going to it's just going to benefit the videos like crazy so i do have a ton of wood now and i would love to get a to get a house started to get a house started so let's go ahead and do this so the wood planks we're making right here these guys are basically needed for almost all almost all of your uh, your necessities that come along with making a house so I'm gonna go ahead and make 30 here and let's go ahead and make one two more platforms so let's go ahead and make two more foundations um, and these guys are used to kind of just put the house on. Then we're going to need some pillars, but I think we should just put these things down first and figure out exactly where I'm going to build this house. I want it to be somewhere on this gap, but I don't really know. I don't know how far I can make it. See, they can't be like this off level, um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think right here ought to be really a really cool spot to build. So I'm going to do here. And you can go right here. Can you can you go above? Oh gosh. Okay, that's as high as it can go. And it'll go through that rock a little bit. Okay. Okay. Hey, at least it goes there. At least it goes here. And it goes here as well. Alright, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to make a house that kind of fit the area. And I'll put some other buildings around here, but really I think um with the hills. I think that's the best this is the best spot to build the house so far. And I think the door will be the door will be right. Um, in this part here, but I do need pillars now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and make like eight or so. Uh, we'll just see how good the pillars are. And oh, 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 oh! I forgot to start the timer, so we're gonna have to start it right now. There we go. So now I have a timer for 16 minutes. I don't know how long I've been recording, but it is what it is. Also, um, in this fire, we've cooked up. Uh, I've started to cook up some more food. I do have 19, and in this chest we do have some metal fragments, some gunpowder, a few blood draw kits, just animal fat, flares, cloth, and, you know, just normal stuff like that. We also have anti-rad pills, some stones, rocks, and a little bit more cloth down there. That's really all. Um, there's nothing too OP that I've collected so far. Um, and yeah, that's basically, that's basically all I've done off camera. Now, another super important thing that I wanted to tell you guys was I know you guys really wanted to see you guys really did want me to, or you guys wanted, wow, okay, you guys wanted to see me go out and do some, some stuff at Radtown, and I realized now that I can't, I can't go anywhere 
to collect things before I get a base or else it, it, it nothing will, you know, I'm just, it's going to be pointless, right? I mean, I would love to go out there. I would love to go explore more, but I don't want to die. That's the problem. I mean, if I die, I lose all my stuff. I get raided, you know, it's game over. So I really want to be cautious on uh, exactly where I go. So I thought that I would let you guys know I will go to Radtown next episode or the episode after that. Don't worry, it's not going to be too long, but uh, it's 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 gonna it's gonna come it's gonna come. So let me just go ahead and make a few more. Let me just go ahead and make another wood pillar here. I'm gonna have to end up using. Oh, I'm gonna have to use all my wood. Okay, so I need one. I need two more pillars. So we're gonna have to make a few more of these. We're just gonna have to. Well, let's just make all the wood planks. Why can't? Yeah, we're just gonna have to end up using all of our wood. So let's do wood planks galore here to I guess start a new house. So let's just do 15. And then two more pillars, uh, two, two, perfect. So now we do have two, so we can put the pillars here and here. Now the walls will go in between all these, and this one will support the ceiling. That's really it. I mean, it's that simple. So now I think we can probably make a wall, right? Let's go ahead and check. Um, how many walls can we make? Okay, we can make three walls. Perfect. So the three walls are already done. This would have taken 15 minutes to craft all this stuff, and it's already done. So let's go ahead and uh, fix up the walls. I don't. I will. I'd like windows. So I'll probably just put the walls, the three walls, right here, because there won't be windows there. I may put a window here, although this isn't much of a view. I'll definitely put a window here and here and no, a window he no. Well, well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This doesn't have the best views, and it's not the best spot, but it's so far away from anything else, I think it's going to be really, really safe. Do I have any other wood, or do I have to go grab some? I do have to go grab some, so I will have to go. I will have to go, unfortunately. I do have to go go out and look out for some stuff. But, ooh, 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 first things first, I do want to go ahead and grab some stone. And craft a bow, maybe? Can I do that, please? Can I craft a bow? Is that going to happen? Bow, please. Weapons. Where are the weapons? Parts? Nope. I want to go to weapons. Weapons. There we go. Hunting bow. I need 35 wood and cloth. And then I need to make arrows as well. So let me just go ahead and... How many cloth did I need? Let's go ahead and check. Cloth. Okay, I only need five. So I do have enough cloth. Now, oh, I want to bring one up. I want to bring some of my flares as well because flares, if you guys do not know, let me go ahead and split that deck. They act as infinite torches, basically. So, um, once you have them in your hand, as long as you keep them in your hand, they will, they will, they will um, produce light. So that's really, really cool. Um, it's a great strategy to use if you're trying to, if you're trying to, you know, have some fun on here and uh, not get killed by zombies and such. Now. <clears throat> To show you guys exactly where this house is, um, it's basically close, it's close to the airfield, but it's not really, it's pretty far off. There is a nice field out here with, I think, only a few homes on here where, uh, where I would like to, um, you know, just kind of establish some friends. I don't really want to mess around with people on this server until I get enough guns, enough, uh, you know, enough things to kind of just you know, make enemies. I don't wanna, I just don't wanna have people trying to kill me. I wanna make real enemies that I just, like, faction war or whatever with. And I don't know if anyone's gonna join me on this series, um, or what's gonna go on with that, but I do know that this should be good, this should be good. So there are plenty of piles over here. There's going to be, I think, there's another wood pile. Yeah, there's another wood pile right up there. And um, there are two rock piles, so we can definitely go ahead and make the bow real quick. Go ahead and finish getting all of this junk. Thank you. Let's go ahead and craft that bow we wanted. As well as we should probably craft some arrows to go along with it. So now let's go ahead and go down to the arrow and craft as many of these as possible. Ooh, someone's talking. Okay, so these there are a few guys on here. Let's go ahead and craft 15. That's, wow, that's way more than I intended to. Goofy me. Goofy me, whatever. Um, that's definitely going to be enough. That's definitely going to be enough. I meant 15 arrows, but I forgot that they, they, you kind of craft them in stacks a little bit. But here are some of the people that are online. This is not a super populated server. I am probably going to be playing this alone, so I don't want to go on one where they have just factions of 15 people. Oh, and here's a dead body. Oh, sorry about that guy. Um, I can't search him. I don't know where his backpack is. Can I kill him? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to kill the sleeper. Okay, I killed him. Okay, I killed him. Oh, yes. All right, this is good. This is good. So, he doesn't know who killed him. He won't. 
but he will know that there is someone out there for him. And he didn't have much stuff, so I don't think he can really complain. But he did have a few things. So that that's what a sleeper looks like, guys. That's what a sleeper looks like. And, um, yeah, those guys are going to be found in houses, anywhere where they go offline. When you go offline, no matter how long you're offline, you're going to have a person there laying there for you with the snakes in your inventory that people can kill, which is really a hard part about this game that you have to grasp. So that's why building houses is super important, and hiding hiding when you sleep is super important. Um, and I think I found a really good spot, because really, over that hill, no one really goes there. And this house was left open, but there's nothing in here. Um, I checked all the things. Um, there is a little bit of food in there, which I would love to keep. But other than that, there's not much in this house uh, to, really, to really have. So, over here, I don't think I see... I want to find a zombie... But I don't want to go too far. And is that a bear or a deer? Okay, here we have an animal, which I can, which I can grab real quick. And go ahead and hunt you down. Oh, missed. There's no crosshairs, so this is pretty bad. It's going, it's going to be pretty bad. But I want to. I have a ton of arrows, so I may as well use them right. Okay, that took two. And then there is a wolf over there. It looks like, and he's going to come after me now. Now that I've hit him. Okay, he's already down. That was easy. So, I definitely just got a headshot. That was sick. I got a brain shot on him. That was really cool. So, I'll get this guy, and then I'll get that wolf that I just hunted, and I will head back to base. And then, uh, I really gotta get working on the house. And probably, you know, just, just getting some getting some resources. Oh, did you despawn because of how far away you were when I shot you? Where's the wolf? Are you serious? There, what? Oh, that's a bummer. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Oh, okay, here he is. Yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that wasn't going to happen. They still have a ton of bugs to fix. Like, I'm getting chicken, chicken uh, breast from them. But, really, this is, this is going this is going to be good. I, I have a really good feeling about this spot. And I don't, guys, don't expect, don't expect this series to end anytime soon. This is going to be a great series on this channel. And I really think it's going to be cool. Alright, so we're going to go into zombie, ter zombie territory real quick. Just to kill our first zombie. We do have, we do have, uh supplies for it so i think i want to kill him i think i want to kill a zombie but i never i don't know okay i see one out there there's a tank zombie i really don't want to I, I really don't want a tank zombie but if it's if it's gonna take this then it's gonna take this there okay one shot down two shots down oh gosh tank zombies they have a ton more health so I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Okay, let's go ahead and search his bag. 11 metal fragments and gunpowder. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I don't see any other zombies out there, and it's getting really late. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to crack open this flare just in case. And, um... Oops, didn't mean to throw it, so that's that's unfortunate. Nope. Ah, left click. Oh, well, just wasted my two flares. Fabulous. Fabulous. So now... Oh, is that a... Is that a rock? Okay, okay, okay. I was just making sure. Thought that was like a bear or something there. That would not be cool. Let's go ahead and grab this rock and head back to our house really quick. So, yeah, that was our first zombie encounter. Wasn't too scary, right, guys? Um, it only gets scary when there's a lot or when you don't have anything to fight, or to fight uh, like fend off with. That that gets rough. That gets rough. So, we're nearing the end of this episode. Um, 20 minutes is what I'm aiming for. And I don't see... Yes, there is another wood pile over there. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? I do have... Yes, I do have the other guy's torch, so you'll be fine. Hopefully, if he comes back online, I'm sorry, dude, but you didn't have a lot of things. And um, if, if you did have a lot of things, I probably wouldn't... If you had, like, armor on, I probably wouldn't have killed you, but um, he didn't have much. And I knew he was by a woodpile, uh, so, you know, he had he had a few resources that I was really looking forward to, to receiving. So, uh, no hard feelings, dude. I don't know who that was, and I hope it wasn't a buddy of mine. That would not be cool. I don't I don't think anyone knows I'm playing on this server, so you know, it is what it is. Alright, can we go over here to grab this? Yeah, okay, we definitely have enough time. The sun isn't well the sun is down, but the moon does provide a little bit of light until midnight. Midnight it gets so dark, it's absolutely ridiculous. The midnight in this game, you can't even see the ground. It's really bad. So if I were to get caught out here in midnight, that would not be good. But, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, the, the, the darkness right now, it's not much to be scared of. Um, the bow is working very well, and I think this is a very, this is a very, very productive episode. Uh, we, we, you know, we first started constructing the house, which I will finish, uh, most of it. I'll get the walls up, 
and the ceilings up um, off camera because I don't want to be raided um, while I'm waiting to put out another episode. That would not be fun. That would be that would be bad. That would be really bad. But um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to finishing the house. And then next episode, we'll go out to all of the zombies. We'll go. We'll go try to find some guns. We'll go try to. We'll go try to really, really get into this game. And um, yeah, and maybe we'll, we'll we'll establish some enemies. I don't know. But for sure, next episode we'll either be finishing the house completely, uh, meaning all three floors. I think I'm gonna do three, but I'm not too sure. Don't don't hold me against that. Uh, but. But it's it's looking it's looking good so far. So I think the first thing we should do is craft um, craft up uh, the windows. And I think I'll probably just do two windows on this first floor. So let's craft uh, windows or let's let's see let's see what we need for window bars. Metal fragments. Metal fragments. I need a hundred metal fragments. Okay. So I don't think we're gonna do win no windows on the first floor. Windows are not going to happen on the first floor because I don't have metal fragments yet and. And I need those, so uh, I will have to use metal ore, but I don't have a lot of that either. So, uh, yeah, okay, no no windows on the first floor. Windows on the second floor, for sure, and then that's just going to have a great view. That's going to be a great view. All right, so let's go ahead and craft up some wood planks. Um, we're just going to do 150. I don't think we're going to finish this house. I really don't think we're going to we're gonna finish this house on this episode. Uh, okay, let's do walls, and let's just craft two walls three walls excuse me three which will give us this this and this oh gosh oh gosh <laughs> then uh, uh another wall please no nope, that's not gonna happen what about a doorway no oh well, yeah we'll be able to do a doorway so let's go ahead and craft up some wood planks ping and then doorway 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 Perfect. So now we do have a doorway. I will have to do the rest off camera, I, as you guys can see. Oh, oh, this guy's trying to talk to me. I'll put a ramp here as well, so that'd be pretty cool. Yep, I'm online. I'm having some fun. All right, so yeah, that's not bad for the first episode. We do unfortunately need a little bit more wood. I probably shouldn't have crafted all of these arrows. That probably wasn't the smartest decision of all of my decisions. Um, probably could have, probably could have not done that, but. Yet again, I mean, it is what it is. So, I'm going to leave my house over here, um, just because I think, honestly, this is probably a bit safer than, um, <laughs> than, than at the house. The house is much more of a attention grabber than that little cave thing there, and I don't have protection in the house anyways, so there's really no point in hiding here. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and uh, make some clothes. Why don't we make some clothes with the with the with the cloth we have? Because I think clothes are going to be a necessity for uh, for just surviving off the, off the bat. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of the cloth we have and let's craft up uh, some cloth clothes, some cloth clothings. So we'll do the vest, pants, and helmet. Yes, perfect. So that didn't take as much as I thought. Now we have full cloth, and let me go ahead and start up the fire. Can I open it, please? Um, we'll just put we'll just split the deck and put the rest of the wood in there. Grab our food, split up the new food and put it in there, and then ignite the fire so we can get a little bit of light here because it is getting pretty dark. Voila! So um, let's put the rest of this stuff back into the chest uh i don't see okay so we do have 29 metal fragments and we do have some metal ore down there so looking at some good stuff but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh craft up a few things i want to do probably a workbench um which i don't have <laughs> enough for and a furnace which i don't have enough for as well so we're looking at more wood and which I can't get right now. <laughs> oh gosh, what a rough day. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, next time I will have more resources, a finished first floor. We can start crafting more things and maybe head on out to Rad Town or just some other things uh, that we can loot and get some zombie kills from. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rust. Yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya.